Hello students, welcome to study life. In this video, we are going to talk about the chemical properties of alkyl halides in terms of reaction with KCN and AGCN. So let's start with the reaction, what exactly happens with KCN and AGCN. So let's start first the reaction using KCN. So reaction using KCN. Now what is this KCN basically? KCN stands for potassium cyanide. This is potassium cyanide. Now for the reaction of potassium cyanide to begin with, the first general reaction we will talk about that is R X plus K C N alcoholic. This is K C N is alcoholic. So R X plus K C N alcoholic. This will give you the formation of. Now when this reaction takes place, Already, this is an example of substitution reaction. Now, if it is substitution reaction, this is X here, this is CN here. And this CN is going to replace this X. So, this will give you the formation of R, CN plus KX. Now, this RCN which is formed, this RCN is called as alkyl cyanide. This is called as alkyl cyanide when this reaction takes place. Now what exactly is the example of this reaction we can talk about? Yes, so let's take an example of methyl chloride. So in methyl chloride, CH3Cl, now this is here methyl chloride, will react with KCN alcoholic. Now when this reacts with KCN alcoholic, this will give you the formation of, as mentioned, that CN is going to replace for chlorine. So if CN replaces for chlorine, what do I get? Then I'll get CH3. This is here CN plus what is left out? KCl. So plus KCl. So this will give you here plus KCl. Now the names of the compounds are very important to understand. Now here CH3Cl, this is called as methyl chloride. So Cl is chloride. So this is here methyl chloride. The next one, CS3CN. Now, what is CS3CN? One way you can call it as methyl cyanide, no doubt. This is methyl cyanide. But also, very popularly, this is named as ethane nitrile. So, this is two carbon. So, this is ethane nitrile. This is also called as ethane nitrile. So, either you can call it as methyl cyanide or you call it as ethane nitrile. So this is the reaction CS3Cl plus KCN gives you CS3Cn plus KCl. Moving on to the next reaction. The next reaction is using AgCn. Now what is that AgCn? AgCn stands for silver cyanide. So AgCn is silver. Ag is silver. Yes. So it is silver cyanide. Now the reaction for silver cyanide. The reaction would be general reaction Rx plus AgCn that is silver cyanide and this gives you the formation of this will give you here RnC now this is the difference previously what you had it was Cn now it is Nc now here this is going to be the reaction because Ag is used here in the reaction so silver will form a coordinate bond and that results into the formation of RnC in a separate video, we will talk about why this reaction takes place, mechanism of the reaction. Right now, just we will understand what is the reaction taking place. So, Rx plus AgCn gives you RnC plus AgX. Now, what is this RnC? This RnC is called as alkyl isocyanide. This is termed as alkyl isocyanide. Now let's take an example of the same reaction. Let it be like CH3, CH2, Br. So once chlorine we have taken, we'll take another example. So CH3, CH2, Br plus AgCn, silver cyanide. And this gives you the formation of CH3, 
CH2 NC. So here this is CN will give you your NC plus what is left out? AG from here, BR from here. So plus AG BR. And the name of the compound here, CS3 CH2 NC. This compound will be called as ethyl isocyanide or you can also call this as propane nitrile. So either you can call it as ethyl isocyanide or you can call it as propane nitrile. This is here ethyl bromide or this can be called as bromoethane. So in this video we have done with the reaction that is chemical properties of alkyl halides we are talking about and in that we have done with KCN and AGCN, potassium cyanide and silver cyanide. In our upcoming videos, we will talk about more chemical properties of alkyl halides. So, students, stay tuned with Study Life. Thank you. Mm -hmm.